Now let's take a quick look at desmosomes. To do this, we need to look at a couple specific parts of the cell. So if you'll look here, this part and this part right here on the inside of the cell, these plaques are going to be on the inside wall. And this part right here, that is the intercellular space. If I get my finger there, that is the space in between each cell. See these little transmembrane glycoproteins? Okay, trans means going across, and so you'll notice that these uh, transmembrane proteins are going to go from the inside wall of one cell through the space and then anchor on the inside of the cell next to it. So let me try to demonstrate right here. This would be a plaque from one cell. Um, this would be a plaque from another cell. In between is that space. So imagine these two plaques and then you have these transmembrane proteins that are gonna go from each plaque through the space and then they're going to anchor to one another. Notice we have very similar setup over here. The difference in names is just talking about these proteins that are going in between cell to cell. Don't forget to note these little boxes that tell you the relative placement of these uh, anchoring proteins. The main benefit of these desmosomes is because you have all these proteins that are going from cell to cell and interlocking kind of like this is that it gives you a lot of strength and durability, which is exactly why we're going to find these in places like the external surface of the skin and our heart muscle. For the hemidesmosome, remember that prefix hemi means half. Think of like hemisphere, like for the globe or hemisphere, like our brain, cerebral hemisphere. So hemidesmosome just means you basically have half of that structure. Notice where it's located. These hemidesmosomes are going to attach the cell to the basal surface. So it's gonna give us some uh, strength on the bottom of the cell. Let me know if you have any questions. Happy studying.